Y'all make sure y'all put them do-rags on and you never take it off when your motherfucking hairline and your haircut look like it need more help than a PETA commercial. In the arms of you. But you want to sit here and worry about us. You give me a vibe and a feeling Like one I won't ever see again This music, like I said, she won't hear that Like one I won't ever see again Hello, hello, my queens and kings. Your girl, Maru Nikki, back again, time and time again with another video. All right, so this video is totally unplanned. It was like not even according to my schedule, but why not? Like, we're like this, so why not get on this video and just kick it with y'all and talk? So right now, I'll be getting ready to carry out my everyday activities and stuff like that. I'm gonna run a few errands. Now, I found myself ranting about this topic, and I was like, I might as well stop ranting to one person and just get on here and talk to y'all because you know we like this. So let's talk about it because yeah, I got something to say. Y'all gonna see how I, you know, set up my face and how I carry myself out every day and you know, the look that I be doing. Now, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment your opinion on this video. And also check out my Instagram because you know I'm a little cute or whatever on Instagram. I'm just saying, you know, I just wash my face. So I'm just gonna pretty much tone it out. I'm using this toner right here. I was seeing this little discussion here on Twitter and this is not my first time seeing a discussion like this in my lifetime, but I don't know. Lately, as I'm getting older, I just be like, okay. Someone posted a, a picture of these women in the airport and they had bonnets on their head. They were about to get on a flight and it was a man. Let me read it verbatim for you. Ladies, y'all gotta stop this shit. I'm fed up. These bonnets gotta go. A whole flock of them and I couldn't even get them all. Let's get real personal. Let's get real transparent here. Um... I'm a bonnet wearer. Yes, I have worn a bonnet out in public. And for all of those that do wear bonnets and do wear satin scarves and potentially wear that shit out in public, I will speak for us and say kindly, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I said it. I'm using shea butter, y'all. Don't. I don't want to hear no comments about how shea butter clogged pores and stuff like that because shea butter helped my face before when I had bad, bad acne. So I'm going back to shea butter. I'm going back to what I know. And shea butter does wonders for me. So really, go ahead. It really upsets me the most that people have an opinion because it's like, why? Why do you have an opinion? Why are you so concerned about what we're doing and what's going on with our head? Like nobody's concerned about you, so why are you so concerned about us? For real, for real, y'all just need to mind your business. I don't understand why men have so many opinions on black women. I really don't know why. Everyone knows that bonnets are made to protect your hair. So if I'm going on a flight, so let's just talk about the flight, right? If I'm going on a flight, you better believe, and I have, I wear hair scarves and I wear a bonnet on the motherfucking plane because I'm not gonna sit here against a certain type of fabric that is not good for my hair. I'm natural, I'm not gonna be rubbing my head up against that fabric. I don't know what's going on with that fabric if that shit is even clean and keep rubbing, rubbing, rubbing my head up against it while I'm on this long behind flight. I'm going to protect my hair. Now, if something's up underneath it, like I got braids or a wig or something, I'm definitely going to wear a bonnet or a hair scarf because I don't want nothing messing up my style that I pay good money for. But people don't consider these things. Oh my God, it's not classy, da 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 da. I can't believe y'all gotta stop. Why? Who are we trying to impress? I just want to know. Here's the thing though. I've never seen a woman come into a formal setting with a bonnet before. Usually they have a bonnet on because they have shit to do and they don't have time to be doing all that extra stuff. They're prioritizing the important things first and the hair can wait, all right? If I want to go to Walmart real quick and I want to grab something or I want to go to the grocery store or I want to run to the beauty supply store, please do not think I'm about to sit in the mirror for an hour and some change tugging and pulling at my hair and styling it and getting it all dressed up just to go do something for five minutes. Please. Now, I saw some women that was like, well, it's not presentable. You never know what opportunities are coming. First of all, if a bonnet is gonna stop your blessing, then I don't want the motherfucking blessing at all. Because if the blessing is gonna be for me, it's gonna be for me regardless. If it's not gonna be for me at this time, it will spin the block, trust and believe. If something is divinely and really ordained for you, then it's gonna make its way to you. Can we be practical real quick? Do y'all know how much it costs to maintain black hair? How much money we put into products? Yeah, y'all know, because y'all be like, oh my God, if you are a natural, how much time it takes to maintain and take care of your hair, okay? Protective styles. Do you know how much money it takes 
to get your hair, keep up with your hair all the time because y'all be the same ones complaining that braids only be lasting two weeks but be costing $300, yes. How much money it costs for wigs and installations and color customizations and reconstructions and all types of stuff like that. So it's, it's always gonna be a lot of money and a lot of time. And for real, for real, a lot of us don't have all the time in the world to be sitting in the mirror all day long when we got shit to do, okay? When people have on a bonnet, most of the time, something's going on underneath the bonnet. And last time I checked, you shouldn't be worried about what's under the hood if you don't got the money to take care of the car. So niggas be worried about what's going on, but you not paying for my maintenance. You not paying for this install. You not paying for these products. You not paying for what's going on under here. You not paying for my time. You not paying for nothing, so why are you so worried about my hair? Matter of fact, why don't you start worrying about getting your money up? And make sure your bitch don't have to walk out with a bonnet because you made sure everything was paid for and now she's always in tip top shape instead of worrying about me. That's how I feel. I feel like people just be a little too concerned and you need to be practical with yourself. You really need to be practical with yourself. Not everybody has the same type of time as you. Life get real for some people. People don't have it like you do. And sometimes they gotta get shit done. And shit needs to be done with the bonnet on. You don't see us getting on men about the silkies. We don't get on y'all about y'all do-rags. We don't give a fuck, okay? Y'all be having all types of patterns and all types of designer do-rags and shit and all types of stuff like that. It's very fashionable then. Y'all go shopping for y'all silkies and y'all make sure y'all stay up to par and y'all be wearing that shit out in public. You're not buying all them nice behind do-rags just to stay in the house. Y'all be wearing that shit as a fashion statement and we don't say nothing to you. Oh, that's not appropriate, da 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 We don't get on y'all about that. I completely forgot to do my face. Every single person that I've ever seen wear a bonnet be on the move, bro. We got shit to do, son. I think that men be forgetting how much maintenance it takes to be this woman that you guys keep glorifying. Y'all want us to be in tip top condition all the time. Do you know how much time it takes to get your nails done, your feet done, stay on top of your hair, get your facials, have your body right, be in the gym, eat right, cook, all of that stuff. And you mean to tell me for once, that's a full time job. Give me a moment to put a damn bonnet on and just do what the fuck I gotta do without having to literally break my neck. I just wanna go outside and get something done real quick. What's the problem? I'm taking a break with my lashes, so I'm just gonna, I saw a hack where they filled the under part to make it look more full and then you know. These women were on a trip, but trust and believe, I could bet my top dollar. Just cause they look bummy right now don't mean they not gonna pop out all types of crazy when they land. I think y'all be a little too concerned. If you want us to look in tip top shape for a fucking flight that I'm about to be asleep for, then you could kiss my ass. Who are we trying to impress? Cause it ain't you. It ain't you. I'm not gonna try to impress somebody that ain't putting money in my bank account. That ain't making sure that my hair is done. I'm not doing it. And women that be saying that, <sighs> I be wondering about them too. Cause I be like, what's up with y'all? We're supposed to be, you know, empowering each other. And you know, mind your damn business, bitch. It be the women that have no bills, no obligations, nothing but free time on their hands, talking about that's not appropriate. The reason why it's not appropriate is because you have all the time to do that, beloved. These protective styles that we're doing, we're trying to keep our hair healthy that y'all love making fun of us and saying that we don't have. Y'all love trying to tell us we bald headed and this, that, and the third, but let us protect ourselves from damaging cloths and extra sun exposure and all types of stuff like that, which could damage our hair or our hair being dried and frizzed out and everything like that. Let us protect ourselves and make sure that our hair grows properly and we still receive backlash. How does that work? Oh, my lashes be looking long and spicy. I wish I had the curler, I can't find it. I'm sorry, y'all be a little too concerned about stuff and people's obligations and what they doing, like y'all gonna actually pay to make sure that they stay on their shit. That's different. I don't like discussions like this and I don't like kikiing with people that love having an opinion, but they're not gonna contribute to the change. That's different to me. I'd be damned if I tell somebody not to wear a bonnet out with me and I didn't even offer them like, you want me to do your hair for you or nothing. I'd be damned if I sit here on this motherfucking internet and act like my shit don't stink and act like I don't have bad hair days and act like shit don't be getting real some fucking times and telling somebody that it's not appropriate to step out on a damn flight or step outside with a damn bonnet on. I'd be damned. What you really need to do is learn how to mind your motherfucking business because you didn't learn that from birth and maybe I need to be the one to break it to you. Mind your damn business. And I wish somebody would come in the comments. I'm not about to sit here and go back and forth because it is what it is. 
Trust and believe, I'm gonna continue to wear my bonnet. Y'all love poking and poking and poking at black women. We can never catch a fucking break. Our natural hair is not enough. Protective styles are not enough. Wigs are not enough because we must be bald. Then when we cover and try to protect our actual hair, oh, you wearing a bonnet, that's not enough. Everything is not enough. Everything is not enough. Shut up. Shut up. Can we normalize minding our fucking business? Can we normalize minding the business that pays us? Men love having opinions of women. If you wanna be us, then say that. Y'all be having too many opinions of what women be doing. Get your bread up and stop worrying about us. Get your money up. Last time I checked, your mind is poor and your pockets is even poorer. So you are in a worse position. That's not presentable. Let's get into that. That's not presentable. Y'all have these unrealistic expectations that we're supposed to look like a runway model 25-8 just to look like a nice piece of eye candy on your motherfucking arm. No. Y'all make sure y'all put them do-rags on and you never take it off when your motherfucking hairline and your haircut look like it need more help than a PETA commercial, but you want to sit here and worry about us. Yeah, shut the fuck up and mind your business. I got time today. What the fuck is wrong with guys, yo? That shit is so strange to me. And it was a man that sat there and posted that shit. Like, you sitting here sneaking pictures of women in the airport. You're a weirdo. You have too much time on your hands. You have a little too much time on your hands. There's so many things that you could be doing. Two places that y'all could go for free. In your own lane and out of people's fucking business. All right, y'all. Let me put my little earrings on. That shit's so strange to me. What's wrong with these people? Are these earrings... These earrings the one. I just went on a long behind rant and I don't care because it needs to be said. Stop wearing bonnets, bitch. Stop minding my business. Fuck, I do what I want. I do what I pleases. What about it? Fuck. Shit weird. Motherfuckers weird, bro. That's why I just be in my own lane. Motherfuckers is hella weird. Stop wearing bonnets. Pay for my hair then. These products, these little three products right here cost $50. Pay for that. Do my hair then. Oh, you can't do that? Shut the fuck up then. That's free. Period. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this is the look that I be having. My little everyday look. Um, I'm about to go outside and run some errands real quick. And then I'm going to be back. So y'all, I don't know what I be doing. <laughs> I just be talking. So yeah, this is where I stand on it. I said what I said. I'm only speaking from experience. I can't speak for everybody else. If you went through your own experience and you have something to say on that, you are more than welcome to speak on your experience and all of that good stuff. But just please don't think that I'm gonna sit here and argue with you in the comments because I'm really not. When I say what I say, it's very intentional. All right, so my queens and kings, I want y'all to stay blessed and stay royal. And I'll see you in my next video, okay? Bye-bye.